My Lords, we have reached a crunch point. Some blame the Arts Council, but ultimately this is the end result of 13 years of severe funding cuts to the arts, both in direct funding and to local authorities by this Government. And of course, it is the funding cuts, both in education and the arts themselves, that are a major factor in increasing inequality in educational provision in the arts. As the Independent Society of Musicians say in their extant briefing, from which others have quoted, music education is in serious decline in England and the situation requires government intervention. But I would also say to a potential future government, consider the educational models that may be driving that spending on the arts. These are models which may be, well be in opposition to the current knowledge-rich curriculum stroke academic educational environment in the state sector where it is becoming increasingly harder for individual participation, performance and expression in the arts to gain a foothold. And at the heart of this constricting philosophy, of course, are the EBAC and Progress 8, which need to be removed.